we're crocheting a dishcloth with the seed stitch. Okay, so you'll need some peaches and cream yarn. I chose green. You'll need your crocheting hook, a tapestry needle, and a measuring tool. Alright, to begin we are going to have to do our slip knot. Just wrap it around your fingers, and right there where the yarn meets, you pinch it, put the yarn behind your loop, put your hook through that yarn, and then just pull. Alright, and for my dishcloth I am making, I want it 9 inches in both ways, in which I am going to have to do 35 chains, and so, and you have to keep it an odd number, so that's why I'm doing 35. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, <laughs> 35, there we go. Alright, so there is my 35 chains and I measured it, it goes up to pretty much 9 inches and so it's going to be a 9 by 9 inch dishcloth. And so for this seed stitch, it is a super simple easy stitch, it's one of my favorites. And because what it is, it's simply a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. So for this first one, you go the second loop from your hook, so not this one right here, this one right here. Alright, so single crochet, place your hook through the loop, yarn over, and pull it through that loop. So now you should have two loops on your hook. And so then you're going to yarn over again and pull through both of those hoops, <laughs> loops. <laughs> and so there you go, you have your single crochet done. And then next, on this very next chain, we're not skipping any, this absolute very next chain, this one right here, we're going to be doing a double crochet. So yarn over, place your hook through the loop, yarn over again and pull it through. So you should have one, two, three loops on your hook. So you're going to yarn over for the double crochet and you're going to go through only two, two of those loops. And then you're going to yarn over again and go through those last two. So there you go, you've got a single crochet and a double crochet. And like I said, the very next one, can you guess? A single crochet. And it's simply a pattern and you're going to be doing this all the way down but I will meet you guys at the end but yeah so single crochet and double crochet all right so I've finished my row I have one more stitch right here to do and uh, is a double and I will tell you, for this whole thing, your last stitch will always be a double. Your first stitch will always be a single, and your last will always be a double. So I have my three loops in the hook. Go through two of them. Ah, oh, <laughs> whoops. Just gotta go back right there. And then I do have two loops. Alright, so there we go. My last stitch was a double, and you always end with a double, no matter what. And if you don't end with a double, that means you probably either miscounted your chain, so it's not an odd number, or you missed a stitch going down. So there we go. To do the next row, just simply chain one, and turn. So there we go, our very first row, our foundation row, is complete. This next row, it is super easy, and what it is, is there's this, so this loop right here. And you will be doing, like I said, you end in doubles and start in singles. So in this little loop right here, I'm going to place our hook, and it may be a little difficult at first. and. So yarn over, pull through, 
two loops and pull through both of those. So we have a single. And then right here on top of our other single, because all our singles that we did on the last row have holes and all the doubles are like little bumps. And so what you'll be doing is is doubles on all of your old singles and singles on all of your old doubles. And so you can see obviously where the holes and bumps are. And so we just did a single and the next one is a doubles. Yarn over and place your hook through this loop right above your circle. Not in your circle, in which I've made that mistake when I first learned this stitch. Not in the circle, but above the circle. Yarn over again. You'll have three loops because this one's your double. Go through two of those and through the other two. And then next is your single. And remember, single on top of doubles. So this one's our old double in which we will be doing a single. All right, pull it through, have two, pull through two of those. And so there you go, there's the start of your second row. I will meet you guys at the end of this one. So there we go, row two is done. And it is pretty much row one, except you're just putting it in different stitch areas. And so, Here's my last two stitches. I need to do one right here on top of my bump, which is a double, my old double, and then right here, which was my very first single. So, I'm going to do a single on this old double, and then I will do a double, because remember, always end with doubles, and always we begin with singles. It's always been a little difficult to, all right, there we go to put it in that last last one. Alright, so finishing up my double. Alright, so two loops and two more loops. So there we go. There is two rows and for the third row it is super simple. It was just like the other one. Chain one and turn. So there we go. Now we're on the third row. And remember this loop right here, you do your single. End with doubles, begin with singles. So there's our single. So it was just like the row we just did, and so you're going to be doing the, the doubles over your old singles. So the doubles above the holes, and the singles on the bumps, your old doubles. And so you will just continue that down. So just remember, single in which I just did and so this is my old single in which I will be doing a double on top of that. So in through the loop, into those two loops, and through those two loops. And then you need a single above this bump. Go through it, yarn over, two loops, go through both of those loops. All right, you're single, and then you'll just be doing your double, and then the bumps, you'll be doing the singles, and then the holes, doubles. And so we will continue this until it is nine inches. So I will meet you guys at the end of that. I have my last two stitches here, in which I am going to be doing a single. And then the last one end with a double. And this is my very last stitch out of my whole dishcloth. It's always exciting when you finish a project. So there we go. There is all of my dishcloth. And you can see the lovely pattern it gives. And for finishing this off, you do not chain one but you just make sure you have a nice long string take a nice pair of scissors cut that and take it and just simply loop it through like that and then you weave in your ends with the tapestry needle and I've never been good with putting the yarn actually on the tapestry needle alright so there we go yarn on your tapestry needle and you simply weave it through your work. 
and so then that's why it's weaving in your ends. Make sure your ends are nice and even and then you backtrack with your needle and weaving it and doing the backtracking should make it so it doesn't come out at all. And if you're super cautious about it and really, really not wanting it to come out, then you can always knot it, in which I've done on some of my projects and it seems to work just fine. But there you go, you have your ends weaved in, and that is how you do that. The Seed Stitch Dishcloth. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell button so you can get notifications when my videos come out. Hope you caught that creative bug.